Hi, and welcome once again to Quick Guides for Medicine. My name is Vitae. I'm a hospitalist and assistant professor here in South Carolina. On this channel, we'll talk about medicine and topics around medical education. So if you find value in that, feel free to subscribe. We'll appreciate that very much. Today, we'll be talking about discharge and general internal medicine. You realize that the main focus of your job is to safely and appropriately discharge patients after you've taken care of them. Patients come into the hospital service, you know, with an acute diagnosis that is supposed to be managed inpatient. There is clear indication for the reason why they've been admitted. And your job is to do what you need to do for the patient and get a patient ready to be discharged. So it's important to say also that every efficient hospitalist has to be discharge oriented. And it's not being discharge oriented because the system wants you to discharge as many patients as possible, but it's really about carrying your weight in any system you find yourself and doing your job effectively. It's important to emphasize this fact because a lot of things that you do are based on how clearly you're thinking about discharge and how that also translates into how critically you're looking at the patients that you're taking care of. The discharge planning starts from admission. You're bringing them in, you're looking at all of the things that are acute and you're trying to anticipate how that course will go, that, how the hospital course will go. And you're also identifying things that could serve them as some sort of barrier to discharge and you're addressing this as early as possible. Just think about it, if you have one physician on one hand, another physician, one physician is discharge oriented and knows that they have to do everything they need to do to get this patient out safely. And they know that, you know, everything that they do or everything that they miss is gonna implicate, you know, how long the patient stays in the hospital. And now physician really doesn't care. He just wants, you know, admit a patient, sit in the patient for however long possible. Who is likely to offer the best care to the patient? Obviously, the one that is discharge oriented. And again, it has nothing to do with the system, whatever numbers you know people are looking at these days. But it's about being efficient and doing your job the best way possible. And that's why I emphasize this. It also helps to reduce the cognitive burden that goes into you know keeping patients for too long. What happens is if you don't achieve a certain degree of clarity about what is going on with the patient from the time they're getting admitted, every time you encounter that patient, the the amount of work mentally you have to do is it's just it's, it's a lot more because there is no clarity. You don't really have a sense of direction. You don't really know exactly what's going on with the patient. You can't plan ahead. It's too much. And, you know, I, I personally tend to ascribe a little bit of that to the reason why people get burnt out. Because if you can do the work to achieve a degree of clarity from the time a patient is coming in, whether you're a resident, you know, a, a first year, you know, whoever, an attendant, if you can do a lot of work to achieve clarity about why they're coming and why they're getting admitted, it makes your life much easier down the line. Because and from that moment, you already have a plan. Okay, this patient is coming in for, you know, pneumonia, for example. You know, you, you identify what type of pneumonia is, it is. Is it healthcare associated based on the criteria? Is it community acquired pneumonia? You identify the right amount of antibiotics that they have to have and for how long they have to have. And you set your, your treatment endpoint, at least within the hospital medicine. Okay, if they, for example, they're able to get weaned off you know, oxygen supplementation, maybe we can transition to PO antibiotics and then they can go home as long as, you know, WBC is better, you know, this and this and this and that is better. It's always important to be discharge oriented. And it's, again, I can say it a thousand times, it's not about the system you're working for, it's about really doing your job the best way and providing to patients the best care possible. Having a plan from the beginning, having a plan from the beginning is good for you, it's good for the patient, and ultimately it's good for whatever system you're working in. I appreciate you spending time with me on this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, bye.